Hello, hello. Welcome back to my class. Uh, today, in the last class, I have discussed about uh, sentence. Uh, today, I have come here with a new chapter, and the name of the chapter is articles. So, before I start the chapter, let me write the name of the chapter. The serial number of the chapter is. Ten and the name of the chapter is articles. All right. Before we uh, get into uh, this chapter, I would like to. In fact, I have to remind you something that uh, you have learned a couple of months ago. Okay. Uh, without reminding you, I cannot uh, start this chapter. So. we have to uh, remind uh, that we have learned in the first evaluation i mean uh, yeah in the, in the first evaluation we have learned that what vowel what are vowels and what are consonants okay so it will be easy for me if i write no sorry here the no? vowels vowels and consonants one thing uh, we know that there are 26 uh, english alphabets no so now what are words the letters the letters a e i o u are called what vowels the letters a e i o u are called vowels okay then if you count them we will find there are five vowels there are let me write it a e i o u okay a e i o u there are if you if you count uh, count them then we shall get there are five vowels okay in number so now what about consonants what about consonants leaving all these vowels whatever whatever letters will remain all these are what consonants very simple thing in the very beginning we have got that there are five vowels they are a e i o u in number we see there are five vowels and leaving them apart from all these all these five uh, vowels the rest all the letters are consonants if i write there in the board we shall get a is a vowel so i cannot write b c d e is a vowel here i have written already f g h i is also a vowel i cannot write j k l m n o is also a vowel i cannot write p q r s t u is also a vowel i cannot write v w x y z if i count them if i count them then uh, we shall get there are how many you start start counting there we shall get 21 letters how many letters how many 21 21 consonants we shall get in number we shall get here 21 uh, in vowel we got uh, we have got five vowels in consonants and the rest all the in consonants uh, uh, we have got the 21 consonants okay so these are thing you have to remember okay before we uh, get into uh, this chapter articles all right so now what actually uh, articles are okay a listen to me a n and d are articles a n and d are articles that are used before a noun that are used before a noun now the question will arise uh, that what is a noun well you also studied in the very beginning of this year that what is a noun a noun is a word used as the name of person place or thing okay 
a noun can be a name of any person a noun can be a name of any thing a noun can be a name of any particular place all right so this is called what a noun so again i'm telling you that uh, a n and a look at the board a n and the are articles what articles 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 that are used before noun all right very simple thing what are articles a n and d are articles that are used before noun now again i'm telling you what what is a noun a noun is a name of person place or thing so this is it this is what articles are so now we can divide the articles in two parts we can divide the articles in two parts indefinite articles and uh, definite article so here you see as uh, we have got that um, a n and the are what articles so now we have to divide them we have to divide them in two parts that a a and n a and n are what definite articles what a and n are definite articles uh, sorry a and n are indefinite articles a and you see look at the board very carefully indefinite articles a and n are indefinite articles and the is the is definite article definite article very simple thing again i'm telling you a a and n are indefinite articles and the is definite article okay so now uh, the uses of a n a n and the uses of a n a n and the okay the very simple thing very carefully you uh, listen to me that a is used before a uh, singular countable noun singular countable noun which uh, gives a which gives a uh, consonant sound consonant ha ah, you see i have written there already okay you see here i written vowel here written consonant sound all these are what as i said in the very beginning of this class that apart from the vowels apart from the vowels the rest all the letters are what consonants so here you see the uh, rule is a is used uh, before a singular countable noun which gives what which gives a what which gives a consonant sound which gives a consonant sound all right or we can say that uh, a is used before the words beginning with what consonant now let me show you let me give an example here all right in the first example we see that in the first example this is it is very simple to identify okay it is very simple what i can understand or what i can feel that is very simple to understand this is dash pen okay no so now you see one thing how to ident identify that whether i should write a or n or d which one whether which one i should write the very simple thing the formula is uh, is a is used uh, before uh, the words beginning with what consonant so is it a vowel 
is it a vowel you tell me no not at all it is a consonant so we would write instead of writing n we would write here a this is a pen this is a a pen moving on to the next uh, question priti is selfish girl now so you see the question you see you see priti is dash selfish girl our formula is what we have to see whether it is a vowel or a consonant okay so you see look at whether uh, the letter s is vowel or consonant vowel is it a vowel no not at all it is also a what consonant so instead of writing instead of writing n we would write here a priti is a selfish girl this is uh, the rule of using this uh, a article a now we are going we are moving on to n n all right n is used n is used before a what before a singular countable noun which uh, gives a vowel sound which gives what vowel sound or we can say that um, n is used before the words before the words beginning with what what vowel 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 look at the board still it is there a e i o u already written there in the board our it is to see that uh, how to use uh, n that n is used before a singular countable noun which gives a vowel sound or we can say that n is used uh, before the words beginning with what what vowel vowel so let me write some examples for instance we can write he is actor so here you see in this word in this word there is something different there is something different the difference is what the difference is the word uh, begins with the vowel what with a vowel and i should not so this is the reason why we shall write n he is an actor he is an actor instead of uh, writing a or the we shall write he is an actor he is an actor very simple moving on to the next example that would be my mother my mother mother told me told me my mother told me interesting story here you see as i said it is very easy to identify see the word interesting see the word interesting here also you see the words begins with what what with the vowel with a vowel you see i so with whether wasting the much time without wasting much time we would write uh write n a n n this is also one more thing left there n is we n is used what n is used before what's beginning with uh with a silent h silent h some words you will find though the letter h is there in the word but while pronouncing while pronouncing we find it missing we find it missing for example you see 
for example if i write he is he is honest man full stop look at the sentence or the question very very carefully you see look at this this word especially you look at this word honest man honest man honest man while pronouncing it is coming the letter or the alphabet h is completely missing though while writing it we cannot avoid we cannot avoid this uh, alphabet h but while 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 pronouncing it it seems what it seems it is missing it is missing you see balsam is coming out honest honest it is o huh it seems that the let uh, the word uh, begins with what with the alphabet o but actually it begins with what the alphabet h and what is it so in this case we would write an honest as the vowel sounding sound is coming out that is the reason why we would use here n we would use what n this is it now moving on the how to identify what is the rule okay very simple thing this is also very simple d is used uh when we wish to specifically we want to say something specifically when we uh when we wish to specify something when we uh want to say some especially uh if you want to say something or any particular place any uh, particular uh any great man okay about mahatma gandhi he is a he is a great man he was he was actually he was a great he was a great man okay so whenever we talk about any part, particular uh, things any particular person any particular places so uh, very simply we can say that we, we would use the the okay so the is used when we wish to specify something the uh, the is used with a noun that represents the whole class also the is used uh, with a unique uh, noun also the is used with the names of religious books also many other things uh, there are special i mean uh, you look at the thing look at the moon look at the sun okay they are unique look at the river they are what unique okay look at the mountain they are unique okay so uh, the is used uh, when we particularly talk about something special when we particularly talk about something special all right okay so uh the, here are also some examples we find in the first example you see quran you see it is a religious book okay it is a religious book so it is a special thing particular thing so instead of using n or a we we would use there what d okay as i said that we use d when we talk about any particular thing particular places special thing or unique thing okay okay so instead of using instead of using n or a we would use there it is a holy book by the way it is a holy book of uh, it is it is our holy book being a muslim i would say that it is our holy book this is the quran moving on to the next example look at this example my dear students you see as i said whenever we talk about any special thing any unique thing 
we use what we you see mun it is a very unique thing very unique thing so we would use here instead of using n or a we would we would use the okay the moon all right the next example is taj mahal is a beautiful beautiful building here you see don't get confused okay don't get confused taj mahal is a taj mahal is a beautiful building the beautiful building okay so you see it's a particular place particular building very unique okay okay so here also we would use what without using n or d or uh, n or a we would use d because as we know that when we uh, when we talk about any particular thing or particular place or any any other thing any uh, what uh, they are uh, particular unique at that time uh, we use without using this n or a we would use uh, the all right so this is uh, what the articles are i hope you guys understood so if still if you have any problem please you are welcome uh, uh, you can ask me uh, in the comment box given below till then uh, be happy study well and uh, don't trouble your mother and father bye everyone have a good day